so uh, this uh, this is a bit of a clarification of the last episode um, about the mouth shaping because my sample my own sample sort of have uh, a unique kind of character it doesn't require the usual pattern of emotions and that's why the drawing materials and the weight animation does not show all parts that you probably need to learn about so I'm gonna take this episode I'm gonna take a, the, the official sample and talk about what I tr what I was trying to say now let's have um, let's look at the basics um, first of all uh, the face unlike mine they have a rather flat shading so you see from all the way from you know the whole face showing other than the cheek with the little uh, blush it is basically one color tone is one flat piece of color shading and it decreases the errors that I am going through. As you can see mine, uh, it actually has like uh, three shadings ar around a mid face. And that's why when sometimes when my character moves her mouth, it sort of has the white or lighter skin color overlapping the darker one uh, accidentally. And it's bleeding through, it's show showing some weird uh, distortion and that's not easy. And that's why, um, for beginner's purposes, you do want to have a simpler color shading. You do not want to use mine where it has like, you know, uh, paint shading or whatever you call it. Just don't, let's hold, have multiple cells of shading on a face. And that would probably solve some problem, at least easier to start off. And what I was trying to say is um, about the mouth, all right? So look at the uh, official example right here, and you can see it only has uh, three by three so it has three deforms deformation so there's a sad there's a flat and there's a happy and I as I recall it's uh, the emotion default emotions in Life 3D Viewer for this project it has its 1.00 as the default or main setting of the, the mouth and that's why the character is most likely smiling most of the cases um, for my case I'd probably set the default to zero zero and that's why it would have a, a like a set face most of the time but given how her character is that may also indicate it's her happy state or normal state anyhow you would pro you may or may not have a similar case as the official sample where you have the happy the, the flat and the sad and uh, along with the along with the um, eyebrow and eye opening where is it eye opening eye opening uh, emotion uh, 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 parameters you might uh, work on you might uh, produce the happy angry and the sad face with multiple options so it could be this this could be sad or this could be a disappointed or uh, annoyed sort of thing if you tilt the and go up like uh, this, this, oops, Wait, this one is, okay, this one is one, uh, there you go, and sort of, this is set, now this is set face now, the lips didn't change, all it changed is the brow, and uh, you could do a little bit with the eyes, and that's how you make this different kind of expressions, but, so likely you would have um, the three state as same as the official sample. Now let me set everything back to normal. All right, so you got the you got the uh, downward curve, the flat, and upward curve. And there's close, half open, where you still don't see the uh, teeth. And then when it's fully open, you will start to see the teeth, and they will expand lower. So that is sort of what it has right now. Let's break down the pieces. How do, how do they do that? Uh, like I said in, that, in the last episode, my mistake was having the white cover piece and the lips separated, and that increased some more workload. Uh, what it means is if you turn off the the face, and then you can see that uh, here are the pieces that is involved now I'm going to turn off some other things to make it clearer for you uh, the neck is probably here alright so I'll turn the neck off uh, the red part is actually the back of the hair 
uh, or the, the inner side of the back hair and everything else is just mouth, eyes, uh, nose and whatnot. So in terms of the nose as well, now you can see clearly that there are only a few things happening with the mouth, all right? Let's break them down and they are over here. And let's have a look. So we got the first one. The first one is the inner side, the red, the inner darker red of the mouth, so the tongue and uh, both sides. And we can we got that one out. And then there's also the lower part, where it's the lower lip, and also the white part that's covering the inner red. And then there is the, the teeth, the front teeth over there. Depending on character character design, you may or may not have this. And then there's the <clears throat> upper lip with the upper white piece. And finally, there's the uh, sort of a lip shade that they have uh, for additional aesthetic. So that's the breakdown of it. Different from mine, the white part and the covering part and the lips are basically the same layer, and that's why it saves some workload. Also. They did not do the trick that I'm trying to do, and that's why uh, with the anchor points, and that's why they only have three by three, where I have three by five. All right, so that increases the workload a lot. And if if you're prob if you're starting with live duty, you probably want to do things this way. All right, so we can see how the shape deforms as it widens up, or you can download this uh, from the official website. And play around with it and you can see you can test things around uh, let's look at the vertices all right the anchor points like these when it's closed slightly opens now I wouldn't do things that way and it's, but you know it, it doesn't show up as a problem but I wouldn't do things this way now you see this point right here this red point all right as I move it it suddenly stretch my Skype is bothering me hold on a second Turn off Skype, turn off Steam. All right, let's continue. And like I said, uh, if you see the red dot that is over here, you can see that it moves like way across the face for no reason. Where it just could have been perhaps over here, right? Because the whole, the whole face is, the whole face is just generally same white, and that's why you wouldn't see the difference. But what if you have some like color shading here? Then that would this would bleed out a bunch of lighter white into some darker area, so that's not good. And it's generally better to keep things not that <clears throat> not that dynamic. I don't know why this part is stretching over. Honestly, it could have been just like this, or you know, just nothing that extreme. Yeah, you see, you you should you should open it up like in in a in a certain proportion, but not like stretching over the place. Um, I'm not sure how they did that. Maybe they have reason that I haven't figured out yet, but it's probably okay. Let me turn back on the turn on the face and have a look. Oh, there's actually a little bit of there's a slight darker dot here. You see that slight uh, darker spot here, and I don't know. Yeah, that's that's uh, that's probably a mistake. But anyhow, you get my point, right? So you, you want to stretch when you're trying to open. You don't want to have like anchor points flying over the place. It feels like it's stretching both ways, but I don't see the purpose of that because it wouldn't make a difference, and it's not a good habit either. So oh, they probably they probably used uh, like this tool, and then stretch it, and that's why it drags everything over for no reason. Uh, so I guess that made them easier, but um, first of all, their upper lip and their lower lip, I'm going to turn off the face, the upper lip and the lower lip, when it's closed, they're always overlapping. All right, so if I turn off the upper lip, uh, which is this one, right, this T, all right, turn off the T, well, and I, uh, this is the lower lip transforming opacity is 100 uh wait okay yeah so let's have a look opacity is always 100 percent it does not fade in or fade out it follows completely uh it matches completely with the upper lip so this is upper lip like like you can see it both are the same 
if I turn both on and then I have uh, one opacity loaded I'm not gonna do that it's gonna yeah I, there's a lot of work but as you can see they are basically sharing the same shape and when mouth is closed they are identical they are all in the same spot and then when they open that's when they spread out one goes up and one curves down and the upper lip completely shifts their curve from downward curve to upward curve at least for happy when sad we can have a look like that and this is the and for this sad mouth the lower lip changes its curve from up to, from downward to upward all right so that's how they do it and long as they don't like they have the both piece the same they also don't have a shading problem and they only have three by three dots and that's why this is a standard way of doing the mouth it's easy it's safe and it's less workload than the ones i'm showing you in my sample but you know i just have to stick with my character that's why um yeah so if you have a complicated case if you also have uh, multiple mouth shapes or um, you have to play with opacity and stuff there are other methods like I said in my last episode there are other methods to do things and I'll talk about them one after another but if you are new to Life 2D you want to stick to the standards just go with the official sample it's safe it's clear it's um, easy to understand and leaves minimal error so that's that and I'll see you guys next lesson